In this video today guys, I'm going to be covering the very best NVIDIA control panel settings that will get you the lowest input delay and the best FPS in Fortnite Battle Royale. That's right guys, today's video is fully inspired by Mongrel's own Nvidia settings because recently on stream he actually showed every single one of them off. And trust me guys, these settings are the ones that you should be using on your own Fortnite client as it will improve your game a ton. But yeah, enough of all that guys, if this video does help you out, then be sure to one, drop a like on the video and then two, subscribe to the channel as apparently a small percentage of you guys that watch me aren't even and subscribed but yeah let's go ahead guys let's get straight into this video all right then guys so first things first you want to make sure that the nvidia control panel is opened up you can do this uh, two different ways you can either do the simple method of just right clicking and then open up your nvidia control panel just like that or alternatively if this option doesn't show or if you do not have it installed just simply click on the uh, windows icon at the bottom left of your screen type in microsoft store and it already comes up like that click back guys click on the search and type in nvidia control panel and boom should come up like that and then basically once it has loaded up you either need to launch it up by just clicking launch or you need to install it and then launch it obviously once it has um, installed but yeah that's two of the different ways that you can open the nvidia control panel and then boom once it has loaded up guys you can see right here it's already selected me onto the display option quickly actually first things first guys make sure that the highest refresh rate for your monitor is selected now as you can see here i've got three different monitors this one being my main gaming one and it's very important that i have selected the highest refresh rate possible for my monitor which is 144 hertz Guys, you'll be surprised how many people buy a brand new high refresh rate monitor and have for some reason forgot to do this step right here. I guess I never watched my tutorial on screen right now where I actually showed you guys how to set this up with ease. By the way, if you have got a new refresh rate monitor, please be sure to check out that video. I'll leave a link below. But yeah, guys, after you have watched that video, you'll know that you need to select the highest refresh rate and boom, you are all good to go in that regard. Moving on, you want to go on to um, adjust desktop size and position. Well, let's just click all them out of the way. Uh, for this one, guys, I myself and many pros for just use aspect ratio with uh, uh, perform scaling on display. This really is just there in case I want to go to stretch resolution, but I don't at a minute i myself and many pros are on 1920 by 1080 however if you do want to go on a stretch it's very easy if you have this configured just like this and um, moving on again uh, for video guys for just video color settings these should be all on these settings right here basically the default nvidia settings now you can mess around with these but these aren't the settings i'd recommend messing around with instead of messing around with those you want to mess around with these if anything and it's under display it's under adjust desktop color settings and to be fair i wouldn't mess around again with the brightness with the contrast maybe the contrast a tiny bit or the gamma i'd mess around with the digital vibrance guys i myself i'm on default at the minute because i use photoshop a lot in video editing software but if you do want your game to be much more vibrant i'll actually put up a comparison picture of the default digital vibrance compared to a higher one guys you can see how much more vibrant this makes a game and it does make uh, players much easier to spot again if i didn't use photoshop uh, or video editing software I would literally like put this up to like 75% around that range like that's what most of the pros are actually using but yeah feel free to mess around with the digital vibrance out of all of these settings to be honest guys um, and that's that. Moving on guys we've now got the final settings that are important in my opinion to mess with uh, in the Nvidia control panel and these are both under the 3D settings tab right here starting off with the first one which is adjust image settings with preview for this one guys it's very important that you click on use my preference emphasizing setting and you want to make sure that the performance mode um, option is selected right here by default i think it's on balance you just want to whack it all the way to the left and make sure that the performance mode setting is on moving on finally we've got manage 3d settings and for this guys there's a ton of settings so i'm just going to quickly try and get through them all as fast as possible now firstly we've got image sharpening right here this one is a bit of an interesting one because during certain times in fortnite like halloween where the map is super super foggy this setting actually can help you see through the fog but for that i recommend checking out this video on screen as that's where i talk about it all in detail but in general guys like 
uh, because that does happen every like once a year in general i would have this turned off completely only like mess with this setting when certain events happen in fortnite where they change like the fog and certain graphical aspects in the game in general you don't want to have this turned on as it will be a little bit of a load on your gpu depending on how much you sharpen your game and uh, moving on we've then got all these settings right here which is ambient occlusion uh, filtering all these guys all these want to be turned off except from the gamma correction with the gamma correction this one um in my experience i've actually seen it um affect the image uh, quality of like 3d images and stuff guys just turn this on i've tried messing around with turning it off and it just didn't really end well it made the colors be a bit weird and i just think this should be left on and it's something that nvidia themselves even recommend and um, but if we move down a little bit you can see cudas for this guys i would recommend setting it to all and then selecting your gpu specifically if your gpu does actually support cuda cores i think most high-end graphics cards these days do so i definitely recommend selecting it on and most of all guys for fortnite i believe they do actually support the CUDA technology as a whole and it does actually benefit your game um, in terms of performance so you definitely want to have that turned on if you've got Fortnite at the very least but in most games I think it is good to have it on again especially if your graphics card does support uh, CUDA cores and moving on you want to have the DSL factors turned off low latency mode um I myself I've got it turned on I haven't set it to ultra but I know quite a few pros do have it either set to ultra on or some do have it off i myself i found it works best with on as i don't get too much of the fps decrease and um, i do if i go to ultra but on seems to work great for me and i believe mongrel has it on as well and um, but guys for this i would recommend watching this video on screen where i talk about the whole lower latency more in that video i'll leave a link to it in the description below and then moving down from that guys you can see i've got a bunch of settings left i'm just going to quickly run through them all max frame rate don't bother setting that up unless you've got like a g-sync monitor i think you can cap your fps and stuff to a certain uh, frame rate and uh, multi-thread and sampling off OpenGL rendering auto select power management you want to make sure that this is on preferred maximum performance uh, for the preferred refresh rate make sure that that is set to the highest available you can see that's my monitor right there shader cache on texture filtering on and um, texture filtering negative lod bias allow texture quality you want to make sure that that is on the highest performance um the dry linear optimization needs to be on threaded optimization uh, needs to be on all, all that is pretty important triple buffering needs to be turned off guys the Ver vertical sync or v-sync needs to be turned off again guys um, and then if I actually go up the bottom again, these don't really matter because it's for virtual reality. But yeah, guys, that right there is all of the basic, like, major settings that you need to change in nvidia to get the best control panel settings from my experience and from what i've seen with pro players some settings may be different for you you might not have all the settings depending on your monitor you might have a g-sync monitor you might have a high refresh rate monitor it doesn't matter guys just be sure to try out a few settings and then see which works best for you just use this video as a sort of guideline to find in the best nvidia settings possible but yeah guys again if this video helped you out then feel free to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and use code life in the item shop thanks for watching guys peace